Hello again, friends. Matt with Eddie's Guitars coming to you as always from St. Louis, Missouri, and I've got a gorgeous guitar to share with you folks today. This comes from our good friends at Martin Custom Shop up in Pennsylvania, and this is a guitar that was actually built back in 2014. It was specifically commissioned by our friends at Hibden Hardwoods here in St. Louis, Missouri. If you're not familiar with Hibden Hardwoods, you should be. We actually did a live stream a few weeks ago with some of the guitars that we have for sale that they commissioned through our shop here. Unfortunately, this guitar, we just didn't have time to cover this one and a couple others in our live stream, so we wanted to cover these special guitars. Like I said, this is a very special guitar that was commissioned by Hibden Hardwoods, and they supplied a lot of the material that makes this guitar up, which we will go into depth on in just a bit here. Essentially what this is, is a Martin Custom Shop J14. So we have a 14 fret jumbo model, as it were, from Martin. Think sort of the, uh, the classic J40 design, but this is a custom variation on that same shape and size. So what we have here, you can see that we started with a beautiful, very, very high grade Sitka spruce top here. You can see a beautiful, nice, warm aging toner that's been applied to that top. Just a very nice look. Black pickguard on the face of the guitar there, very simple. We have a nice 28 style rosette going around the sound hole there as well. The body of this guitar is bound in Fiddleback Honduran Mahogany. This binding material is one of the several materials that were supplied by Hipton Hardwoods here. Um, the uh, back and sides of this guitar, which is pretty exciting stuff, are just a glorious set of incredibly unique coca bolo, as you can see here. Just incredible. Not only the sap wood down the center, which is certainly striking, and then the uh, the nice quarter sawn areas around it, but just the incredible figure outside of that on the uh, the outer bouts there, just incredible uh, and unique wood here. Uh, it just really has almost like a waterfall sort of a look, or almost a marbling sort of a look as well. Really nice, very dramatic looking stuff. In matching fashion, I have to say I particularly love well-coordinated guitars, and this is certainly one of them. You can see all the way up on the headstock veneer there is a beautiful Coca Bolo headstock veneer. The fingerboard on this guitar is a matching slab of Coca Bolo, and you guessed it, the bridge is also a matching Coca Bolo bridge. And I have to tell you, just looking at the grain of all this, it looks like it's all somewhat adjacent cuts of the same back and side material that we have because it's all just extremely coordinated in its grain pattern, color, all of that. So just, just really a nice touch there. We have the standard low profile neck carve on this guitar making it perfectly playable all the way up here to the 14th fret and beyond. We have the standard 1 and 11 sixteenths nut width. We have the standard 1 and 1 eighth spacing down here at the bridge. So it's a little bit tighter spacing at the bridge. Makes an awesome, awesome rhythm guitar. Great flat picking guitar as well as this thing is very powerful, very loud. We have fully scalloped Sitka spruce braces under the hood on this guitar. Like I said, just the combination of the warm Sitka spruce, the beautiful rich Coca Bolo back and sides just gives this guitar a lot of dimension. It also has a very, very strong fundamental just quality of notes as well. So whether you're doing, again, the loud rhythm stuff or backing off and doing a little bit more intimate finger style playing, it's a very versatile guitar that will cover both of those very eloquently. So we will very gladly take a listen to this beauty now. 